We left the game. It's been nearby downtown. It's called Bianca Pizza. So we come we walked in here for this show. And now, thank you. And now we started with the first South. So we have here Sonoma County, family owned. Uh, yep, this good talk but not talk. Two salads. This is called farmer's market. As you see it's it's made from farmer's market things. And then here we have uh, the wine lovers. Uh, wine lovers favorite is got mozzarella cheese, made with basil and a little bit of oil. And here are little breadsticks. So yeah, pieces pieces up next, but this is what makes me really happy is wine and food that goes with it, I am beyond happy. So, let's get it and I'll leave you with this one thing before I get to food is... Mom. That's some more... Uh, mm, basil infused. Grape infused. Mm. Mm. I thought about this place because apparently this is the best pizza in Arizona. This is just said right, it's easy. So apparently, we don't know. So that's what I found out about this place forever. But, so this right here is uh, called Pizza Rosa, Rosa Pizza. It's got on it the cheeses, onions, three cheese, three cheese, onions, no red sauce. And obviously, wood bag is back there. And then pistachios and uh, mushrooms. Goes well with anything. To include red wine. Let's get it. Am I getting it? Am I getting it on camera? Alright, watch this slapper. Leave the plate. Woo. First bite. You already know. Ooh. Mm. I will say I've never said this is anything like this. I'll buy this pizza again. Mm. Exam's not considered complete unless you wash it off a little. It has flavor. Very good. Recommend. I recommend. They put oil on it even. They're really trying to impress us. Alright, do that. All these. Mmm. Mwah. Bellissimo, magni magnifico, perfecto, magnifico, authentic. Mwah. Visit in time. Send me money so I can buy more pizzas. I need them. <laughs> Family description below. So, uh, here you have it. Pizzeria Bianco. Uh, actually, they offer valet. Look at that. That's a Mercedes Benz. Whoa. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, located in, uh, what is it called? Historic District? Historic Quarters? The sign's over there. So, yeah. So, check out the place. Looks like this. Very cool. Very busy. Uh, the pizza that we ordered, I liked. But I do not know if I order it again. It was so rich. Um, very cheesy, but good. Good nonetheless. Very well. Uh, grape juice, slightly, uh, what's the word? When the grape juice turns to wine. Slightly fermented. Yeah, so very good grape juice, slightly fermented. But check out these houses. So we're right now in Phoenix, Arizona. But it feels like we're in Hogwarts Harry Potter. Uh, to kind of give you the the layout of where we are, how, uh, um, a stadium for uh, basketball is over there, and over here is the arena for baseball, and this is here in Phoenix. Um, this is uh, Arizona Science Center, so it does not look like Arizona here. I really like it, and actually, it doesn't feel like Arizona. This place is called Heritage Square. 
Historic Heritage Square, a timeless memory donated by the Mickelson family. Eugene, Mike, and Maggie, Mickelson, Deborah, and its other names in 1998. So yeah, I guess this was all donated, but it's really cool here. Arizona State, oh, that's Arizona State University, ASU. Not the Tempe campus. So for those of you who think ASU, that's not the Tempe campus. Tempe is not really Phoenix, but that's Phoenix campus. Check out that building. It looks like some church. Oh look, that place, fancy house, is called the. It's called the Rosson House. I can't believe this is in Phoenix. Here, take a photo. Take a photo like with the body, you know. Yo, take a picture of me like I'm going to ASU. I go to ASU. What up? Sad is for the boys. Take a picture of me like I go to ASU. If you don't know what it is, they usually put a log of wood through here, long ways, and then this way you tie your horses. There's a lot of people in Arizona ride to school with their horses. When I first moved to Phoenix, I really wanted to go to ASU and party because we here. Party, party, party. So I had to look it up. I was like, where do you even go to party? You know? So apparently, I, so I found it's Mill Ave. For those of you who don't know, Mill Avenue is where you go when you come to ASU to party. And that's, of course, the whole street of bars where all the college people go. But yes, Mill Avenue. And I remember I learned that from um, like a forum. Reddit? Reddit is, is a place? Yeah, and that's where I learned it. ASU logo, logo, there it is. Always look to me like it belongs on a box of oranges at a grocery store, you know? Yeah, like it has the, the S in the sun. That's another ASU building. What is that called? Arizona Center? That's probably where they charge you for tuition from that building. It looks like a bank. Check this out, Guru Phenomenal. This is a bench. In the middle of nowhere, obviously. It has not even, it has no back, which is whatever. But it doesn't have armrests on the side, but it has armrests in the middle. You know what that's for? So people don't sleep here. That's what that's for. If you're ever wondering what happened, that's so like people who don't have anywhere else to sleep don't sleep here. You'll also notice that at airports, because down so people don't lay across. There's armrests, and you like, why is there an armrest here? Are you tired? Are your arms tired? Do you need resting? No. I should put them to sleep. Cross, take 15 spots. Oh, don't make it their home. Did you get it? That's not present.